ಗಣಪತಿ ಹವಾಮಹೆ ಕವಿ ಕವೀನಾಪಮಶ್ರವಸ್ತಮ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪತೃಣ್ವನ್ನೂತಿ ಸೀದಸಾಧನ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತ ನಮಃ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾ ಓ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಾಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಂಡರ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆಫ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗೀತಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅನರ್ಥಕ್ಯಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಇಫ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಜ್ಞ ವರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಈಶ್ವರ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ಯುಟೈಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹಿ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಾನ್ ಆರ್ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ ಹಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ ಇನ್ ತೆಲುಗು ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿದ್ವಾ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಹಿ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಅವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾಸ್ ವರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫಿಟೈಲ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ರೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈನ್ ನನು ಸ್ವರ್ಗಕಾಮೋ ಯಜೇತ ನ ಕಲಂಜಂ ಭಕ್ಷೇದ್ ಇತ್ಯಾದವು ಇತ್ಯಾದವು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮವ್ಯತಿರೇಕದರ್ಶಿ ರಾಮ್ ಅಪ್ರವೃತ್ತವು ಆತ್ಮವ್ಯತಿರೇಕದರ್ಶಿ ರಾಮ್ ಅಪ್ರವೃತ್ತವು ಕೇವಲ ದೇಹ ದ್ಯಾತ್ಮದೃಷ್ಟಿ ನಾಮ ಚ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ವಿಜುವಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆತ್ಮವ್ಯತಿರೇಕದರ್ಶಿ ಆತ್ಮವ್ಯತಿರೇಕದರ್ಶಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ಆತ್ಮವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ he is no he is aware that there is an atma which is apart from this body mind complex deha vyatirikta deha vyatirikta atma darshi atma vyatireka darshi means deha vyatirikta atma vyatma atma darshi so that means there is some atma which <coughs> which has no kartrutva which has no bhoktrutva uh, it is akarta abhokta so that sort of uh, say awareness that type of awareness this person is having so that is the atma vyatireka darshi so this man he will not get engaged in any action like the statements swarga kamo yajeta somebody who is desirous of swarga has to do some yagna then na kalanjam bhakshayet that is a nishedha that is you should not eat meat of an animal which is killed by a poison arrow so the, 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 this in such things this person will not say go uh, who this vidwan why because he is aware he is aware that all these things are at avidya level then somebody who doesn't believe at all somebody who is an astika kevala dehatyatma drushti that is somebody who says his body mind complex he is atma and then nothing else is there that is the charvaka style so this gentleman he also he is not bothered so on one hand this vidwan is not bothered on the other hand this uh, say atheist is not bothered then shastra will be futile so of course we see a similar situation even now <laughs> we don't see vidwan of course we don't see too many vidwans uh, say uh, having that particular view but then we see so many nastikas we see so many atheists who just do not believe in all these things and then who have given up but then shankaracharya is going to point out that it is not so there are lot many people in the world still who are followers of this vidhi nishedha shastra there is what is called as smriti ಸಮ್ ವಿಧಿ ನಿಷೇಧ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಯು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇ ಸೇಫ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೇಫರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆವೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಸೇ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಮೀ ವೆಲ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ಹೆವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇ ಸೇಫ್
and then Agnani anyway, the, even in Shankara's time, all these people, these Nastikas were there. This Charvaka was a very important uh, sect even in olden days. I think all, all through human history, I think in all societies. Um, so there will be people, now, there, there will be non-believers. Except in very strong societies, a strong societies means a strong where the religion is too strong. And then where if you say, I don't believe in God, you will be killed. There are some such societies we are seeing. So, uh, apart from such societies, free societies like America or Western countries, there are a lot many people who don't believe. In India, there are a lot many people who are communists and then who don't believe. Communists, they have got a fancy to criticize only our religion and not other religions. They have got a, like, they have got a fancy for other religions, but then they want to criticize our religion only. So, that is the problem. So, in all societies at all times, there will be people who are non-believers. So, they are not bothered about this. And then Gani is not bothered about this. So, that is the Puropatshi's argument. So, Shankaracharya is going to say, is giving this reply. We have to read from here. Yatha prasiddhita eva pravrutti nivrutti upapatte he. So, this is the brief reply. Yatha prasiddhita eva. This pravrutti and nivrutti. Pravrutti means getting engaged in an action. Nivrutti means withdrawing from an action. That is vidhi nishedha. If there is a vidhi, there is pravrutti. If there is a nishedha, there is nivrutti. So that is it, isn't it? All this depends on, uh, say, on a crowd mentality. Gatanu gatika nyaya. There is what is called gatanu gatikam. Gatam means somebody who has followed that path. Anugati. Anugati means you follow that path. Gatanu gatiko lokaha. There is a saying in Sanskrit. Eh? Gatanu gatiko lokaha. Naloka paramarthikaha. People do not want to see what is the truth. They only want to follow. <laughs> they would like to follow some beaten path. Some beaten path is there. Okay, fine. Lot many people have gone. A lot many people are going on a pilgrimage to Shabarimalai. I will also go on a pilgrimage. Lot many people are going to Shirdi. I will also go to Shirdi. Lot many people are going to some Darga. I will also go to some Darga. So, this is the mentality. So, that is what he is going to say. Yatha prasiddhita eva. Yatha prasiddhita means as uh, say it is very very popular in this uh, loka in this world whatever is famous that is being followed yatha prasiddhi whatever is famous whatever is the beaten path people do follow in a gatanugatika manner in a blind manner so pravrutti nivrutti upapattehe means this existence of pravrutti and nivrutti are dependent on this gatanugatika nyaya on so this crowd mentality then Ishwar Kshetra Gnaika Darshi, Ekatva Darshi. Ishwar Kshetra Gnaika Darshi. Kshetra Gnaika Darshi. Kshetra Gnaika Darshi. Brahmavit Tavat na Pravartate. Brahmavit Tavat na Pravartate. Tatha Nairat Miavad Yapi. Tatha Nairat Miavad Yapi. Nasti Paraloka iti na Pravartate. Nasti Paraloka iti na Pravartate. So he is explaining. Kshetra Kshetra Gnaika Darshi. Kshetra. And Kshetragnya Tayoha Yekatva Darshi. That is the person who sees the unity of Kshetra and Kshetragnya. Uh, sorry, Ishwara. Sorry, Ishwara, not Kshetra and Kshetragnya. Ishwara Kshetragnya Yekatva Darshi. Ishwara is that I have Kshetragnya Chapi Mam with the that Mam. That Mam person is Ishwara. So, Ishwara and Kshetragnya, the person who is able to see the unity of Ishwara and Kshetragnya. So, this is Ishwara Kshetragnya Ikatva Darshi. Kshetragnya plus Ekatva becomes Kshetragnya Ikatva Darshi. Brahmavit Tavat Na Pravartate. He is also the Brahmavit. He is the man who has realized. So, that man may not uh, say get engaged in all these things. Nakalanjam Bhakshayet and all these things. Then Tatha Nairatme Vadhyapi. Nairatmya vadi api becomes Nairatmya vadi api. Nairatmya vadi means one who does not believe in this atma at all. One who feels that this deha, this body mind complex is the ultimate. There is nothing beyond this body mind complex. So, such a man, nasti paraloka, there is no such thing as any other paraloka, there is no other thing as uh, some other after world. So, there is, he doesn't believe in all these things. So, he also does not believe. But then, Yatha prasiddhi tastu Yatha prasiddhi tastu Vidhi pratishedha shastra shravana Vidhi pratishedha shastra shravana Anyatha anupapatya Anyatha anupapatya Anumita astitva Anumita anumita atma astitva ah, Right, right. Anumita atma astitva Anumita atma astitva uh, Atma vishesha anabhignya 
कर्मफल संजात तृष्ण श्रद्धानतया च प्रवर्तते उंड What is happening? Vidhi pratishetha shastra shramana anyathan upapatya. So this vidhi, this is a long um, line. Vidhi shastra is saying something. You do this. Yajeta. That is you do this. Then na kalanjam bhakshayet. Na bhakshayet. Na do this. That is a nishidhi pratishetha. So vidhi pratishetha shastra. So that is the Veda. Uh, the, uh, mostly the primary, the first portions of the Veda, the initial portions of the Vedas which talk about this Vidhi and Pratishedha. So, Shastra Shravana. Shravana means he has learnt, he has seen, he has heard those Shastras. And then, they cannot be interpreted in any other manner. They cannot be uh, say, understood in any other manner. So, when it says that there is a Swarga Kamo Yajeta, it means that there is a Karma. It means that there is a karta. It means that there is something called heaven. And then you, by doing this, you will go to heaven. So all these implied are there. So nakalanjam bhakshayet. You don't do not do this. So it means that there is a karta. There is somebody who is withdrawing from that. And then he is not going to some uh, hell or some such place. Isn't it? So all these things are implied. So there is no way in which it can be interpreted in any other manner. That is anyatha anupapatti. Anyatha anupapatti means anyatha Anupapatti. It is not tenable in any other way except when you interpret like this. Isn't it? Vidhi Pratishetha Shastram is saying, it is so clear, when it is so clearly saying, you can't interpret it in any other manner. So that is Anyatha Anupapatti. So you see this whole uh, phrase, uh, Vidhi Pratishetha Shastra Shravana Anyatha Anupapatya. Shastra Shravana Anyatha Anupapatya. Because of that, Anyatha Anupapatya means because of that, that is Trutiya, because of the fact that this Vidhi, this Shastra, it cannot be interpreted in any other manner, except visualizing a heaven, except visualizing a hell, except visualizing good deeds, except visualizing bad deeds, etc., etc. You have to visualize all those things, isn't it? Because there is a Shastra. So, because of that, and also, he also uh, realizes, there is something called Atma, because he is doing some good job, and then he is going to heaven. So that means there is something which is going to heaven. He may not know what exactly is going to heaven, but then he is he is aware that something is going to heaven. So he thinks that it is that Atma which is going to heaven. So Atma Asti. So to that extent he knows. That is it. So here, you, you break it here. Anumita Atma Astitvaha. Anumita Atma Astitvaha. It is again a Bahurihi Samasa. The whole passage, the whole sentence, uh, say phrase, is a bahurihi samasa, starting from vidhi pratishetha shastra shavana anyatha anupapatya anumita atma astitvaha. This whole thing is a bahurihi samasa. <laughs> so we have to break this samasa and then understand. So anumita atma astitvaha. That is, he is inferring the exist anumita, means derived from anumana. What is derived from anumana is called anumiti. So, pramanas are there. You know these pramanas. Uh, whatever you cognize, whatever you learn from these pramanas is called pramiti. The knowledge which you derive from a pramana, pramana is a means of, a valid means of knowledge. That is called pramiti. So, from pratyaksha, what you derive is called pratyaksham. From anumana, what you derive is called anumiti. From upamana, what you derive is called upamiti. So, like that, here anumita means that is uh, something has been inferred. Inferred from what? Inferred from all these scriptural lines, Swarga Kamo, Yajeta, etc., etc., you do this, you do not do this. So, from all these things, he has inferred that there is something called Atma. Is it clear? So, such person, Anumita Atma Astitvaha, Atma's Astitvam has been inferred by this man. Astitvam means existence. The existence of Atma has been inferred by this man. So, such a man, Atma Vishesha Anabhignyaha. 
But at the same time, he does not know fully about Atma. Atma Vishesha Anabhignya. Anabhignya means one who does not know. Abhignya means one who knows. Na plus Abhignya, Anabhignya becomes ignorant. Ignorant of what? Atma Vishesha. Vishesha means all the Atma in its totality. He is not aware. Atma is Akarta. Atma is Abhokta. Atma is the is of the nature of consciousness. It is of the nature of Druk. It can never become Drushya. Uh, atma. So all these things, uh, he is not aware. He is only aware that there is something called Atma, which is transmigrating from this body to some place called heaven, some place called hell, etc., etc. So that is it. Atma Vishesha Anabhignya. Then he is also Karma Phala Sanjata Trushna. This is also a Bahurihi Samasa. You know Bahurihi Samasa, I hope. So that is... Uh, karma phala sanjata trushna means one uh, in whom this trushna or desire has uh, emerged because of the desire for this karma phala desire for this uh, karma phala there is what is called a fruit of action that is heaven so or some other uh, some lovely place or lovely uh, state of existence so for that this man develops a desire so that is sanjata trushna Desire is Trishna. One in whom this desire has developed for Karma Phala. So that is Karma Phala Sanjata Trishna. Sanjata means in, when it is born. Sanjata means Jata. Yeah. That is born. Then that man, Shraddha Dhanatayacha Pravartate, not only simply with a great devotion, with a great amount of Shraddha, he will do, he will wear all this Pattu Dhoti and all this silk Dhoti and then um, um, does all these things. He removes his shirt and then goes and then do some does some prostration, rolling and all these things he will do. So that is what he says. Shraddha dhanatayacha. Shraddha dhanataya means with all devotion, with all sense of devotion, pravartate. It is sarvesham nah pratyaksham. It is pratyaksham to all of us. To all of us, it is pratyaksham. We are directly seeing. To all of us, it is pratyaksham. To all of us, it is very, very evident. Ataha na shastra anarthakyam. Therefore, shastra is not going to be futile. There are hundreds and hundreds of ignorant people. So that is why hundreds and hundreds of people are teaching so many uh, say, um, uh, things on uh, Puranas and all that. So that is what it means. So in a way it also explains the present situation. Because people may not be bothered about Vedanta. But people are very much bothered about uh, somebody saying about you do this, you do not do that. You have to put some uh, tilakam in a particular way. You have to wear this uh, vibhuti in a particular way. If you tell all these things... Eh, then people are, and if you want to put a, what is this, some shawl, you have to put it on the right shoulder or you have to put it on the left shoulder. Hmm? So all these things if you say, then people are more attracted to that and not when you say something about Atma. So that is the problem. So here, then the, again Shankaracharya is again giving, not Shankaracharya, the Puropachi is again uh, uh, reiterating, he is not giving up his um, say uh, contention. He is not giving up his argument. He is continuing. Vivekinam apravrutti darshanat. Vivekinam apravrutti darshanat. Tad anugaminam apravrutto. Tad anugaminam apravrutto. Shastra narthakya mitichet. Shastra narthakya mitichet. So till that point is pura pasha. Itichet na okay. So what this man say, says is. Vivekinam apravrutti darshanat. Viveki means a jnani, a person who has realized that man who knows this, you say, Kshetra, Kshetra Jnaya Ishwara Ekatva, Kshetra Jnaya Ishwara Ekatva Darshi. So, such a man, apravrutti, he is not engaged in these actions. Then, tad anugami nam. Anugami means one who is a follower. So, they, his followers, all these students and all these students of Vedanta, let us say. All the students of Vedanta, don't try to students of Vedanta, Anugami simply means follower. Tad Anugami Nam, that is the followers of that Viveki, followers of that Jnani, Apravruttav, because they will, they will also do the same thing. And then, then Shastra Anarthakyam, so he is referring to a minuscule minority. I mean a very very minuscule minority where there is a Vedanta teacher, somebody like our Tattva Vedananda sitting in some flat and then some 40 to 50 people listening to Vedanta in the whole of Hyderabad. Eh? So uh, out of a population of uh, say 10 million people. 
सो दट इज दट इज द पिक्चर शास्त्र अनर्थक्यम चेत नो नो आल दीज टेन मिलियन पीपल आर् वेरी मच देर सो आल दीज पीपल विल वेरी मच फॉलो दीज शास्त्र सो दट इज वाट इसे कस्यचिद विवेको विवेकोपत्ते ऑफकोर्स ई शुड नाट प्रोनौंस ते हे ई शुड नाट से विवेकोपत्ते दट्स वाट ई हेव टू से विवेकोपत्ते अनेकेशु ही प्राणिशु अनेकेशु ही प्राणिशु कश्चिद विवेकी सियात कश्चिद विवेकी सियात यथा इदानीम यथा इदानीम नच विवेकिन अनुवर्तन्ते मूढा नच विवेकिन अनुवर्तन्ते मूढा रागादि दोष तंत्रत्वात रागादि दोष तंत्रत्वात प्रवृत्ते हे अभिचारादौ च प्रवृत्ते हे अभि स्वभावस्तु प्रवर्तते प्रवृत्ते विवेक उपपत्ते so the brief reply is this viveka upapatti utna viveka upapatti that is this um, uh, understanding this samya gnana this right awareness is for kasya chideva just 1 in 1000 1 in million not even 1 in 1000 1 in um, say hundreds of thousands so that is what he says kasya chideva viveka upapatte he anekeshu hi pranishu kaschideva viveki syat among so many people among so many beings kaschideva only some rare person be will be a viveki he says yatha idanim that is as we see now that is during shankaracharya's time also there were not many vivekis of course if shankaracharya's time there were no not many people then what to talk about this time so <laughs> when shankaracharya himself is lamenting the decline what about us we have to lament more uh, anyway let us see yatha idanim न च विवेकिन अनुवर्तन्ते मूढाः ऑल दिस फूलिश पीपल हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सम यज्ञ हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सम याग हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सम यात्रा हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सम अदर थिंग सम अदर मोक्कु सम अदर थिंग ऑल दिस पीपल दे विल नॉट फॉलो दिस विवेकी दे विल नॉट लिजन टू तत्वविदानंद आर दे विल नॉट लिजन टू सम अदर स्वामी जी सो लाइक दैट विवेकिन अनुवर्तन्ते मूढाः वै रागादि दोष तंत्रत्वात because they are controlled by this ragaadi dosha tantra tantra means adhina they are under the control vastu tantra purusha tantra we know tantra means something which is under the control of something else so ragaadi dosha tantratvat because they are guided by they are controlled by this ragaadi dosha raga dvesha and all these doshas all these defects they have over they have possessed them and then because they are controlled by all these defects they cannot Uh, say follow this viveki then pravrutte he abhicharanaadav you book says abhicharanaadav abhicharana and abhichara are one and the same prabhu pravrutte he abhicharaadav cha pravrutti darshanat then abhichara abhichara have you heard of this abhicharika kriya so particularly in this atharva veda there are certain kriyas we know that there is an atharva veda that atharva veda there are some abhicha abhicharika kriyas abhicharika kriya is that is you have an enemy suppose you want to uh, do some remote killing of your enemy so you make a, a small doll a human uh, say doll and then you put it there and then you go to some uh, say graveyard and then uh, sit on some sort of uh, say human skulls uh, and then uh, say panchakapala asanam panchakapala asanam means uh, you have to sit on five human skulls and then sitting on those skulls you have to do some particular uh, say you have to recite a particular mantra for some chudra devata there are different types of uh, say demi uh, demi gods chudra chudra devata means chudra means petty little so there are so many types of demi gods whom these people they invoke invoke and then they think that they are it seems people say that such things happen also i have not seen but many people say that such things happen so maybe it may be there it must have been there otherwise all the, in so many centuries in so many thousands of years it would not have continued at present of course you have, i don't think um, there is anybody um, i have seen i have not seen anybody who is doing this abhicharika kriya so this abhicharika kriya they will sit and then they will meditate 
and then they will break the hand of that man and then that there that man's hand will uh, be paralyzed or this man's leg is broken and then this man uh, say the leg is paralyzed or they will put a puncture into the heart and then that man will die so such things people do uh, say things li like that even political people sometimes they do i am told the political leaders sometimes who are uh, great believers in all these things eh, they will also call somebody they will try, they will engage somebody to do all these things so that is quite possible it is quite possible that they may it is quite possible that somebody may be secretly doing so abhichara dauchya pravrutti darshana because all this is guided by your own raga and dvesha your own sense of hatred a man who is out of power for say so many years so he will call somebody who is known to be doing all these things and then he will engage him to do so such shastra nishiddham how it is prescribed in it is not prescribed it they are mentioned it is not prescribed they are mentioned abhicharika kriyas they are mentioned so it can be done like that so abhicharika kriyas there are some people who are doing all these things it, it is not mentioned it is it is not sorry prescribed it is not prescribed but they are just mentioned then pravrutte he swabhavyaat swabhavyaat che pravrutte he means this pravrutti depends on nature the human nature human nature and then his raga dvesha they are so powerful that a person is more under the control of nature than under the control of reason so that is why swabhavastu pravartate iti hi uktam swabhavastu pravartate idi this is uh, this is the from the fifth adhyaya which we have read earlier then tasmad avidya matram samsara ha तस्मात् शंकराचार्यूडिंग्रांसमेग्रेशन प्रवृत्ति ऑफ पीपल आर दिस पीपल गेटिंग एंगेज इन सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एक्शन गाइडेड बाई ग्रीड गाइडेड बाई लव हेट एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा all this thing it is all due to avidya then nat kshetragnyasya kevalasya nat kshetragnyasya kevalasya avidya tat karyam cha avidya tat karyam cha okay so this kshetragnya kevalah kshetragnyasya kevalasya kshetragnya is kevala kevala means one who is not having any contact with anything else kevala simply simply means alone alone means only one that is non dual kevala is non dual you can say kshetragnyasya kevalasya this non dual kshetragnya which has no contact with anything anything the word kevala is used here basically basically to emphasize the fact that the activities of all this say jiva the activities of all this person say guided by raga dvesha etc etc they don't get attached to this kshetragnya they don't get get attached to this pure consciousness which is that sakshi chaitanyam as we call it so the sakshi chaitanyam is not affected by all these things so that is the meaning here nat kshetragnya se kevalasya avidya tat karyam cha avidya and also tat karyam means all the say uh, avidya karyam is that is samsara avidya karyam is all the activities which we involve in all our say daily pursuits all our daily pursuits are avidya karyam so with all these things kshetragnya is not involved so that is the um, uh, picture then nacha mithya gnanam nacha mithya gnanam paramartha vastu dushayitum samartham paramartha vastu dushayitum samarthyam samartham so this mithya gnanam mithya gnanam means something which is the product of avidya mithya gnanam something which is the product of avidya it is not going to affect dushayitum means adversely affect that is not going to adversely affect the paramartha vastu here the paramartha vastu is kshetragnya kevala druk atma uh, say akarta bhokta so all that it is not going to be affected by this mithya gnanam or this false knowledge so that is it dushayitum na samartham then a uh, well known example nahi ushara desham मरीचुदीचुदीचुदीचु मरीचि 
Marichi is a mirage. You know that mirage? In a desert, you see that mirage. So, maybe Marichi and mirage, they are also coming so, so close, we do not know. So, Marichi Yudakam means the mirage water. That is the water which you see from a distance as though it is existing. So, it is actually a mirage. So, Marichi Yudakam is that water which is there, supposed to be there in a mirage. So, that it cannot make this ground wet. Usharadesham. Usharadesham means a dry land. Usharadesham, a dry parched land. Uh, uh, snehena panki kartum. Snehena means dravena. Sneham means the normal meaning of sneha is friendship. Another meaning for sneha is oil. And here, the, 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 in, in this context, the, the meaning is snehena means dravena, liquid. Le, snehena panki kartum. It cannot make that land wet. Panki kartum means, panka means, uh, say, um, where there is a slush, because of when it, ra when it rains, there is a lot of slush on the land, on the ground. So, that sort of slush, uh, say, mud and slush, all that thing, panka, that is called panka. Panki kartum means, this mirage water is not going to make that land slushy. So, that is the point here. Then, Tatha, ta, Avidya Kshetragnyasya Nakinchit Kartum Shaknoti. Avidya Kshetragnyasya Nakinchit Kartum Shaknoti. So, Tatha, likewise, Avidya. Avidya means Avidya Kalpita Samsara. We have to visualize not only Avidya, Avidya is creating so many things. Avidya is creating a whole world, it is creating a whole world of activity, Raga, Dvesha, so many things, all the worldly pursuits. All those things, Kshetragnyasya Nakinchit Kartum Shaknoti. So, it is not, all these things are not going to affect this Kshetragnya. Then, Atasya Ida Muktam, Atasya Ida Muktam, Kshetragnyan Chapi Maam Vidhi, Kshetragnyan Chapi Maam Vidhi, Agnyane Navrutam Gyanam, Agnyana, Agnyane Navrutam Gyanam, Iti. Iti. So, Atasya, Atasya means, therefore, Ida Muktam, this has been said, Kshetragnyan Chapi Maam Vidhi, Agnyane Navrutam Gyanam, Tena Mukhyanti Jantavaha. Where is that, that, that line? That, uh, what is the reference given? Agnyane. Huh? 5th chapter, 15th. 15th verse. Okay. Agnyane Navrutam Gyanam Tena Muhyanti Jantavaha. That was the line there. So, all these things uh, have been told in that context only because Shetragnya is not going to be touched by, uh, say, all this Avidya Karyam. Then, there is again a small Puropaksha. Again, this Puropakshi. He is again quoting the, his own observation from the world because Shankaracharya gave his reply by seeing this observation, common observation. So, that man also, Purvapakshi also is making another observation. Okay, you are saying that lot many people are engaged in action. You are take, taking, you are quoting statistics. So, let me also say, <laughs> lot many people, they are also, I am also observing people of this type. So, he is saying, Atha kimidam, Samsari Namiva Samsari Namiva Aham Evam Mamaiva Idamiti Aham Evam Mamaiva Idamiti Pandita Namapi Pandita Namapi Shrun Shrun Vidam Tat Pandityam Shrun Vidam Tat Pandityam Yat Kshetre Eva Atma Darshanam Yat Kshetre Eva Atma Darshanam Okay, the question is Atha, if what all you say is true, then Kimidam, what is this we are observing? We are observing that Samsari Namiva Ahameva mama, Ahameva Mamai Veda Miti, Pandita Namapi. There are all these Panditas, all these great Pandits whom we see in all these Shastra Sabhas and all these places. So, all these Panditas. So, what, even they, though, those people, if you give some little less Sambhavana, they feel, uh, say, hurt. If you don't give them <laughs> proper charges, they will feel bad. <laughs> Ahameva Mamai Vedam. Aham evam, I am this, I know more Shastras, I have read more Shastras than this gentleman, he is given, he is honored more, I have to be honored more. So, this Aham evam, I am like this, Mamaiva idam, this is all mine, all this is mine. So, this sort of uh, approach, this sort of behavior, you are seeing even among Pandits. So, that is what he says. Atha kimidam, what is this we are seeing? Samsari namiva, aham evam, mama ivedam iti, pandita namapi, even these panditas are behaving like this. Then the reply is, shrunu idam tat pandityam. Shrunu idam, okay, you please listen. Shrunu idam, you listen to this. Listen to this, tat pandityam. Tat pandityam, Shankaraja, this sub commentator says, all these vaidikas, he says, shrunu idam tat pandityam, iti astikanam. 
where is this? Shrunuidam Tat Pandityam. He says all these people who are all this engaged in all these rituals, etc., etc., the people who are not bothered about Viveka, but people who are engaged in all these rituals. So Shrunutat Pandityam, Yat Shetre Eva Atma Darshanam. That is Shetre Eva. That is they are seeing Atma in the body only. Not the Dehatma Vada of Charvakas, but then these people, they are say at the level of saying Ahankara. This notion of I is there. So there are two types of people here. This all these people you see this Charvaka, etc. etc. They say that there is no such Atma. It's apart from body mind complex, there is no such thing. Whereas these people, all these the Vaidikas, there is one particular line here where he particularly mentions this word Vaidika. Hmm? Where is this Yaditesham Yadipanaham? Hmm. Aham Abhimana Nosmi. Astikas to Deha and Yam Kartaram, Bhoktanam and Yenteti, Astikanam, Deha, Himanotam, Atyantam, Himanosti. Okay, anyway, this is somewhere I saw that thing. Okay, yet Shetre Yeva Atma Dasham. So there he is a simpleton Astika. He is referring to a sort of simpleton Astika who thinks that Antakaranam is Atma. So we are seeing two types of people. One is a Dehatma Vadi who does not bother about Atma. Whereas the other man, he thinks that there is some such Atma and then he is such a simpleton that Antakkaranam itself is Atma. So that man. Kshetra eva Atma Darshana. Yadi punaha, Yadi punaha. Kshetra gnyam avikriyam pashyeyuhu. Kshetra gnyam avikriyam pashyeyuhu. Tato na bhogam karmava akankshayuhu. Tato na bhogam karmava akankshayuhu. Mamasyad iti. Mamasyad iti. Vikriyeva hi bhoga karmani. Vikriyeva. Atha evam sati. Atha evam sati. Phalar thitva, ma phalar thitva avidvan pravartate. Phalar thitva avidvan pravartate. Vidushah punaha. Vidushah punaha. Avikriyat madarshina ha. Avikriyat madarshina ha. Phalar thitva bhavat. Phalar thitva bhavat. Pravrut yanupapattau. Pravrut yanupapattau. Karya karana sanghata vyaparo parame. Nivruttihi upacharyate. Nivruttihi upacharyate. Okay. So, yadi punaha. So, Shankaracharya is further explaining. Yadi punaha. Shetragnyam avikriyam pasyeyuhu. In case they are able to see. Yadi punaha. Pasyeyuhu. In case they will be. In case they are able to see. Uh, what? Shetragnyam avikriyam. This Shetragnya is something which is avikriya. Avikriya means something which does not undergo any change. change. Like consciousness is something which does not undergo any change. Shetragnya, as we have to see, when we say Shetragnya, we should not think of a person. Shetragnya is an entity. It is just consciousness. It is Druksvarupa. It is Atma. It is, uh, say, K, uh, that, uh, what is that? Uh, Vishayi. So, all these words which we saw in the very first class of this chapter. So, Kshetragnya is Akarta, Bhokta and also Asamsari. So, if if these people realize like that, then they will also not bother for this karma and karma phalam. Tataha, yadi punaha chetragnyam avikriyam pasyayihu tataha. Tataha means then, with that knowledge. Tataha means with that knowledge, with that awareness. Na bhogam karma va akankshayihu. They will not desire. Akanksha means desire. Na akankshayihu means they will not desire. They will not desire for all these enjoyments. They will not desire for all these karmas. Then mama syad iti. Let, I, let me have it. Mama syad means let me have it. Mama syad. So that is the, uh, all this chama, chamakam. So and so chame, chame, chame. All that is art. That is it. <laughs> mama syad iti. Vikriyai vahi bhoga karmani. This bhoga and karma. They are bhoga karmani. Karmani means dvivachanam. Bhoga karmani means bhoga and karma. That is all vikriya eva. Vikriya means this is something which is a manifestation of avidya. Vikriya. Vikriya means something which is a modification. Vikra, vikara. What is vikara? Vikara is a modification. It is all vikriya. All this karma and all this bhoga etc. etc. They are all manifestations of avidya only. And then there is no need for a wise man to get into them. So that is the, that is that person's awareness. Then Athaivam Sati. We read it. Sir. Oh, we read it. Athaivam Sati means while that is so, while that is so, Athaivam Sati. Phalarthitvad avidvan pra, uh, Phalarthitvad avidvan pravartate. 
this avidwan one who is not having proper awareness one who is not having proper understanding phalarthitvat pravartate so he is having this phala arthitvam arthitvam means uh, the state of begging for that the, the state of begging or requesting for that phala arthitvam that is he is in a state where he is desirous of the fruit so that is arthitvam so demand let us say phala arthitvam demand for phalam demand for fruit is there arthitvam avidwan pravartate so this man pursues in that uh, pursues the course of action then vidushaha punaha avikriyatma darshinaha that is for this vidwan for this vidwan who is seeing who is able to see this avikriyatma avikriyatma darshi means one who is able to see that avikriyatma darshinaha phalarthitva abhavat so this demand for this desire for fruit is not there phalarthitvam arthitvam we can also say desire so phalarthitva abhavat because of the absence of this phalarthitvam pravrutti anupapatto do this man does not get engaged in action then karya karana sanghata vyaparo parame then what will happen to this man so when he is aware that this karta atma is a karta bhokta and then he is, he realizes that all this karma and all this promise all these promises about this lokam etc etc they are all products of avidya then he withdraws from them naturally so that withdrawal is mentioned here karya karana sanghata vyapara uparama is karya karana karya karana we know karya means the body karana means indriyas senses karya is the physical body karana is the indriyas and the mind antah karana also counts sanghata sanghata means this assemblage this whole assemblage vyapara vyapara means the activities all the activities of this body mind complex they get withdrawn uparame uparama means withdrawal by the because of the withdrawal of all activities of this body mind complex then nivrutti hi upacharyate so that word the, the word nivrutti is figuratively used to that sort of situation so this man there is no such thing as there is no particular activity called nivrutti that withdrawal itself is called nivrutti just figuratively nivrutti hi upacharyate by way of upachara upachara means that word is attributed to that though there is no particular activity called nivrutti there is no particular activity called nivrutti he simply withdraws from action so that withdrawal from action is termed as the say nivrutti so that is the thing here then idam cha anyat pandityam idam cha anyat pandityam keshanchi dastu ya keshanchi chit kesha keshanchi chit अस्तु क्षेत्र ईश्वर अस्तु क्षेत्र क्षेत्र विषय अहम तो संसारी सुखी दुखी संसारोपरम से मम कर्तव्य क्षेत्र क्षेत्र विज्ञान क्षेत्रिक so a simpleton astika who is uh, pursuing all these things but here you are seeing a seemingly uh, say gnani a seemingly uh, say um, um, we can say samyak gnani seemingly samyak gnani but not samyak gnani so uh, here shankaracharya is visualizing a situation where idam cha anyat pandityam kesham chit in some other cases in some other cases a different type of pandityam is seen so a different type of panditya means intelligence a different type of knowledge panditya actually means scriptural knowledge a different type of panditya a different type of uh, say gyanam is seen in some other people what is that astu kshetragnya ishwara eva so this man is agreeing to what all the scripture says so that is what we see in him astu kshetragnya ishwara eva okay he is agreeing to the statement that yes kshetragnya is ishwara he is agreeing to that then kshetram cha anyat okay he says kshetram is anyat he is also agreeing to that but he but then 
he is saying that oh i am something different from this uh, kshetra and also kshetragnya i am some, some somebody else jeeva so that is where he is placing himself kshetragnyasyaiva vishaya anya kshetram chanyat kshetragnyasyaiva vishaya this kshetram is something which is a vishaya for kshetragnya vishaya means vishaya vishaya means an object vishaya whenever you see you get the word vishaya you immediately you have to recall object and whenever you say vishaya it means that there is called a vishayi that is one who is observer one who is illuminer illumin means not focusing any light or anything one who is knowing it so kshetragnyasya vishayah means it is known by the kshetragnya kshetragnya gocharah it is something which is illumined which is something which is known to the kshetragnya so that is what is gocha so what is this vishaya kshetragnyasya vishayah vishaya is something which is objectified which is an object which is seen which is known it is a drushyam so that is it so the vishayah aham tu samsari sukhi dukhi cha i am something different samsari sukhi the commentator writes aham kshetra kshetragnyayor anyah samsari jeevah I am something different from this kshetra, different from this kshetragnya. Jeeva kshetra is something to be discarded. Kshetragnya is something to be worshipped. I am something somewhere in the middle. I am called Jeeva. So he is in that position. Uh, then sukhi dukhi cha bhavami kshetra kshetragnya vijnana. Okay. So the, he, this man, is considering himself as a third entity. Aham tu Jeeva, aham tu samsari sukhi dukhi cha. samsaso samsaro paramascha mam kartavya so he is also accepting the prama shastra wow samsara uparamah kartavya maya this i have to withdraw from this samsara i have to get rid of this samsara withdraw means i have to get rid of this samsara uparama and that also has to be done by me how kshetra kshetragnya vijnanena by knowing by properly discriminating between this kshetra and kshetragnya i have to know i have to know and then i have to understand this thing then dhyanena cha ishwaram kshetragnyam sakshat krutva i have to do meditation i have to do some penance i have to do some puja not penance i have to do meditation dhyanena dhyana means i have to worship i have to worship this ishwara kshetragnya sakshat krutva i have to see i have to see that that lord appears before me so all this what does it mean he is operating in a plane of duality he is another level of dualist we have seen a simple dualist earlier but this man is a slightly learned dualist who who wants to say that yes i am following shastra shastra is very much there this um, samsaram is also there um, say samsaram is not mithya then um, heaven also is there samsaram is there and shastra is valid so i am validating the shastra so that is what he is going to say ध्यान से ईश्वर क्षेत्र साक्षात कृत्वा हैविंग से सेक्यूर्ड द प्रेजेंस साक्षात कृत्वा हियर मींस हैविंग सेक्यूर्ड द प्रेजेंस ऑफ से दट लर्न साक्षात्कार इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अद्वैता मींस समथिंग डिफरेंट साक्षात्कार इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अद्वैता मींस रियलाइजिंग दट रियलाइजिंग वन सेल्फ एज ब्रह्मन ईज दट साक्षात्कार दट ईज साक्षात means something which is making one's making something one's own that is sakshat uh, thing so sakshat krutya here sakshat kara is not that sakshat kara means he is by doing some dhyana uh, ishwaram kshetragam sakshat krutya tat swarupa avasthanena that swarupa avasthana that is in his uh, say um, loka i will be in his loka i will be present in his loka in that sarupya mukti swarupa avasthanena tat swarupa we know this word sarupya saya salokya uh, then what is this samipya sayujya etc the salokya is you are authorized to enter that particular loka that is salokya you are in that kailasha or vaikuntha of that uh, lord then sarupya you are also allowed to wear the dress which he wears sarupya the same rupa in the same rupa you will also be in that same rupa then samipya you will go near so you will be in the proximity you will be his closest attendant then sayujya you will become part of him so that is the four level mukti which you show, which this dualist they say even in that sayujya he is not non different it is not non dual it is there is still a duality there so that like that shesha sheshi bhavam that is 
like a, a, a human being and a limb so it is like that so he will be like a toe or a toenail or something like that so it is like that so tat swarupa avasthane na iti then yashayvam buddhyate yashayvam buddhyate yashya bodhayati yashya bodhayati nasau kshetragnya iti nasau kshetragnya iti evam manvanaha evam manvanaha yes evam manvanaha yah स पंडितापसद संसार मोक्षास्त्र मोक्षास्त्र शास्त्र अर्थवत्व कौमी आत्म स्वयं मूढ़ अन्याश्च व्यामोहयति शास्त्रार्थ संप्रदाय ओके यम बुध्यते यम बुध्यते द वन हू अंडर्स्टैंड लाइक दिस बुध्यते मीन वन हू नोस् बुध बुध मीन टू नो वन हू अंडर्स्टैंड लाइक दिस लाइक वाट ई एम समबडी एल्स का जीव देर इज वाट इज का क्षेत्र देर इज वाट इज का क्षेत्र हू इज द लॉर्ड ई हेव टू डू सम प्रेयर वर्शिप एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा एंड ई हेव टू गो टू दट लोक सो ए पर्सन हू फील हू रियलैज लाइक दैट एंड आलो यश बोधयति one who teaches like that so the point is we have when we see all these arguments we have to see that shankaracharya found so many types of arguments uh, about this geeta in his own days as we saw in the very very beginning this sambandha bhashya in the very very beginning words he said anekaihi vivruta pada padartha nyayam api so very many people have explained very many people have explained but then अनेक विरुद्धार्थत्वेन गृही तत्वा दट ईज दे हेव पर्सीव्ड इट इन ए टोटली रांग वे ही सेट दे हेव अंडर्स्टूड इट इन ए टोटली रांग वे दे हेव नॉट अंडर्स्टूड इन ए प्रॉपर वे सो नौ यथा बुद्धि एज मई से इंटलेक्ट पर्मिट्स ई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सो दट इज वाट ही सेट इन द बिगिनिंग सो वी हेव टू सी फ्रॉम आल दीस दैट आल दीज टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ग्युमेंट्स वर् देर इन शंकराचार्य स्टाइम एंड लेटर the same arguments which shankaracharya is denouncing all these arguments have been taken up by the other acharyas it may be shri ramanuja or shri madhva they have taken up the uh, say the same arguments the puro paksha here becomes their siddhanta so that is how this cycle goes on <laughs> so shankaracharya's time there were the same arguments shankaracharya has denounced and established this non dual approach then subsequently the people who differed from this non dual approach they again revived those puro pakshas and made it made them into siddhanta their siddhanta so it is like that so here shankaracharya says so a person who feels who who realizes or who understands like this he um, what yasya evam bodhayati na asau kshetragnya iti na asau kshetragnya asau means jeeva jeeva na asau kshetragnya jeeva is not kshetragnya jeeva is something different so that is it asau you can note down asau means here here it means jeeva na asau kshetragnya this jeeva is not kshetragnya iti evam manvanah the person who thinks like this and also who thinks like this yah sah pandita apasadah he is a pandita apasadah means niche pandita he is the lowest among this scholars he is the lowest among panditas niche pandita he is a totally wrong type of pandita or a wrong model pandita then he also thinks samsara mokshayo ho shastrasya cha arthavatvam karomi so i am see, you see i am accepting this samsara shastra moksha shastra samsara mokshayo shastrasya cha samsara and moksha are also two uh, real states so our our contention is our understanding is samsara is something which is a product of a vidya whereas this gentleman says samsara is also real he has come to that original uh, puropachi standpoint samsara is real moksha is also real and then by following the shastras i am validating the shastras samsara mokshayo ho shastrasya cha and also of the shastra arthavatvam karomi arthavatvam means the um, uh, fruitfulness really strictly speaking arthavatva means fruitfulness i am making them fruitful means i am validating them the literally it means arthavatvam karomi means i am making them fruitful Fru- uh, say that means i am validating them so that is the meaning so by uh, say 
accepting the reality of samsara and by accepting the reality of moksha that is two levels two levels this this bandhavastha and mokshavastha in fact earlier we have denounced that particular argument but then he is again reviving that argument and says no no this bandhavastha and uktavastha are very much there so then shankaracharya says he is pandita apasadaha he is the lowest level of pandita then atmaha atmaha we have come across this word atmaha where ishavasya upanishad also ekesh atmaha no janaha atmanam hanti iti atmahanah so we have come across that word atmanam hanti means one who destroys his own atma is called atmaha the normal meaning is one who commits suicide <laughs> but now not that it is here atmaha is one who is refusing to understand atman one who is not understanding atman in the proper way so he is atmaha that is not understanding about one's own self is as good as suicide as good as atmaha as good as atma hatya sorry atmaha means it refers to a person atma hatya is an activity atmaha is a person who uh, kills himself so it means by not knowing the nature of atma by not understanding the atma properly he becomes an atmaha then swayam moodaha he is a moodha himself he is a fool and anyanscha vyamohayati he also deludes others moodaha means one who is deluded anyanscha vyamohayati he also deludes others and what type of man is he shastraartha sampradaya rahitatvat so he is devoid of this shastraartha sampradaya He, he 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 has not come in that shastra tradition sampradaya sampradaya you know that word sampradaya uh, simply means tradition if you break those words sam plus pra plus daya sam samyak pradiyate iti sampradaya that is you are in a very very uh, um, uh, truthful manner you are handing over a particular learning from father to son or teacher to student teacher to student teacher to student in that manner you are faithfully and truthfully handing over a particular knowledge uh, to succeeding generations so that is what is called sampradaya samyak pradiyate it is given handed over so effectively efficiently truthfully faithfully so that is what is called sam sam sampradaya shastraartha sampradaya rahitah so this man does not know he doesn't belong to that shastraartha sampradaya there is what is called shastraartha sampradaya shastraartha means the way how to interpret this shastra so that is what is shastraartha sampradaya then he is also what is, he is guilty of this problem this defect what is that shrutahanim ashruta kalpanam cha kurvan he does shrutahanim ashruta kalpanam cha kurvan okay he is doing this shrutahani this words are very familiar to us श्रुतहानी अभ्य श्रुतहान अभ्यु श्रुतकल्पना प्रसंग दिस वर्ड वी आर् फेमिलिय श्रुतहानी मीन्स वाट हेज बीन टोल इन दि श्रुति दिस फलो इज इग्नोरी एंड अश्रुतकल्पना वाट हेज नाट बीन टोल हि ईज अनेसरली फाइस्टिंग हि ईज फाइस्टिंग ऑन दट श्रुति हि ईज से विजुअलाइजिंग हि ईज रांगली अंडरस्टैंडिंग दट श्रुति वाट हेज बीन टोल हि हेज नाट अंडरस्टूड वाट हेज नाट बीन टोल हि ईज विजुअलाइजिंग एंड प्रपोजिंग देन तस्मा असत् संप्रदाय विदास्त्रविदी मूर्ख मूर्ख उपेक्षणीय उपेक्षणीय सो तस्मा देर फोर संप्रदाय असंप्रदाय विथ वन हू डज नाट नो दिस ट्रेडिशन ऑफ संप्रदाय दिस ट्रेडिशन दिस टीचिंग ट्रेडिशन दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस ट्रेडिशन सर्वशास्त्रविद even if he is well versed in all other shastras even if he is a great vyakarana acharya even if he is a great mimamsa acharya or nyaya acharya whatever it is whatever it is but such a man murkha eva upekshaniya murkha eva as as though he is a fool he has to be ignored upekshaniya upeksha means ignoring upekshaniya means one who has to be ignored so here you have to see the word murkha in sanskrit literature this murkha finds a very important place <laughs> you see there are two words called murkha and mudha the word mudha comes from the root muh muh means to get deluded murkha muh is deluded that is somebody who who is not able to see a thing correctly he is totally deluded and then he is deluding others whereas murkha is not a deluded person 
in fact if you have seen bhartruhari subhashita you must have heard about bhartruhari subhashita the very first shloka the first few shlokas are devoted for this murkha paddhati murkha paddhati means the way of fools the the way how fools behave so that is what is murkha paddhati this murkha is a fellow who is not totally ignorant he is he knows something he know he knows a little bit and then he cannot be convinced by any logic you see there are three types of people one is a person who is who knows well uh, what is this agnyah sukhamar there is a the very first shloka there it starts like this agnyah sukhamar adhyah one who is an ignorant person he can be easily told something can be easily explained to him agnya agnya you know the word agnya sukhataram aradhyam agnya sukham aradhyah sukhataram aradhyate visheshagnya one who is a knowledgeable person it is very very easy to discuss with him one who is a knowledgeable person there is no problem to discuss with him and then he can be told more easily if something is not known to him then gnana lava durvidagdham brahma api naram naranjayati gnana lava durvidagdhah so he knows a little bit of gnanam gnana lava lava means elesham he knows a little bit of gnanam and then durvidagdhah vidagdhah means he is burning with fire he is having all fire and zeal with that with very with very little bit of knowledge he is challenging everybody so so from such a such a man brahma api naranjayati so even brahma will not be able to convince that man so murkha paddhati there is another shloka which says murkhasya nasty aushadam sarvasya aushadam asti shastra vihitam murkhasya nasty aushadam for everything in the world there is what is called aushadam or remedy but for a murkha there is no remedy so murkha finds a very very unique place in sanskrit literature particularly i advise you to read those uh, 10 shlokas of um, bhartruhari so now the time is over we'll see in the next class om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hi